be very, very quiet. We're hunting the rascally rabbit. There they are. Dave at Bullpen Cycles and we are here here in the middle of the Ocala National Forest in Ocala Florida well actually we're in outside of Salt Springs we're at the north end of the National Forest at the annual Rocon Romp what's a Rocon Romp well it's not the tail end of a Rokon, that's a Rokon rump. This is the Rokon romp. And check out his jersey. Rokon automatic. Pull the start. Yeah, but that's for the 340. Well, I guess it counts for these, but I, I've always I seen that. I had a that. 340. Yeah. So you're going to have to tell us a little bit about Rokons, but let's just first take a look. This looks like a slightly newer one. Yeah, Pat, what is that? 20... 2021 with 6,500 miles, which is 13 lifetimes on a Rokon. Pat puts thousands of miles a year on his. He's, he's got a street legal and goes all over the country with it. Oh, you street plated it. Now the, this one came with DOT approved tires and all the lights and everything to do street legal which is a must for me for national parks and and uh, wildlife management and all that kind of stuff because i travel all over the place but did you make any mods to this uh well other than every tool i've needed to do everything except rebuild the engine and spares in the backs and including a full clutch a handheld chainsaw for places like this gas in the rims i don't know if you can see that or not. you put gas in, in, in the, oh, there it is. It says gas. I know you could put fluids in them, but uh, I will, uh, and I heard of people running gas in it. It'll get the attention of folks at the gas station. You know, you're. I rarely miles, would miles would run that tank out, and I got a little uh, um, a little roto pack over there with a gallon. But this keeps me from having to carry 14 so gas cans. So you lay it on its side and siphon well, it out. Well, I can, that, there's one bolt that holds the tank on. If I put it up on a rock take the bolt off and put it down i can siphon it in and i do have a little water uh, you know okay a squeeze ball i could do it with but that's generally just to haul the gas to, to utah yeah yeah okay and once i get there that keeps me having to carry a bunch of those little gas cans anyway gas 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 and the roto pack i got 500 miles guaranteed maybe 600. wow depending how i how i ride it on the other side is the chain it's a chain driven front and back so you've got a chain back here like a normal motorcycle and then on the other side well i guess i should show that but that's like any other rocon you know yeah, this is a so drive you've shaft. got the drive shaft coming up through here to that up U here joint. 
goes into a yeah. miter box, which drives the vertical chain. Yeah. And then the, it goes to a pivot point so that the shock can do its thing. I guess I should show that for the viewers, but yeah, that's like any other Rocon. Well, you mean they're like front drive. Yeah, yeah, all the yeah all the Rocons, other than the three forties, are two wheel drive, all wheel drive, all wheel drive all the time. And it's got a limited slip. Well, you, know, you probably know what it is. It's got a, it's got a, they call it a slipper clutch right here in the drive shaft because you're going to have to allow for some. So that the, the front and rears can go at different speeds around a curb yeah yeah, well, yeah. so the front can go otherwise faster, we go ch -ch -ch -ch. so the front yeah. can go faster but never slower right it's like a finger trap it yeah can, okay it, it grabs one way but not the other a lot of the hunters though they'll, they'll take this up park it shoot their elk and then take the bike in between the trees hook the antlers onto the uh, you know rope the antlers onto the hitch and drag it out yeah so that's generally what the hitch is for. They do make a one wheel trailer this wide that will go behind it. And they, do, and they also make a side cart, not a side car, a side cart that goes over here. And it just hooks onto the frame and one bolt and boom, you're good to go. So what engine is comes with it now? It's a Kohler, it's a seven horsepower, 200 cc's. Single or twin? Single electric start on these rangers but it also has the pull start so yeah you have to have the pull start yeah well you don't even need a battery for the thing if you yeah. take the battery completely out you couldn't use the electric start anymore but the pull start would work if i didn't have gas in the rims and i put it breather side up it would float i could pull it across chest deep creek i haven't done that although i am the world's first rocon crossing the Pecos River. Oh, I didn't know that fast. Yeah. I'm also the world's fastest Rocon, Bonneville Salt Flats. <laughs> it was also the only Rocon, but hey. So, what did you run in the Salt Flats? <laughs> I knew he was going to have to ask that. Well, me. yeah. 27 mile an hour. <laughs> but, so, a stock Rocon? This Rocon. That one. I just okay. was out there. I was on the Bonneville Salt Flat, so. But didn't you have to pre-register and all that uh, other crap? I just, I just laid down flat and. and uh, Were they laughing at you? Oh yeah. <laughs> I would have chuckled. Ones that were close enough. The Bonneville Salt Flats are so big. If you get out in the middle of them, you're likely not to see any. But to get an official. Uh, I wasn't official. Oh, okay, unofficial. So okay, so there's somebody can do that. Yeah, okay. All right, here comes Pat. Riding down to Bonneville Salt Flats. He's screaming, laying down to keep that wind resistance off of him. There you go. I love, I didn't mean to interrupt. No. I love the shorts and the motocross boots. Hey, That's perfect. Right. I mean, you know, you come to Rock on Rock, yeah. you're going to see a goofball ride wearing <laughs> yeah. shorts and motocross boots. And the bicycle helmet. And the bicycle helmet. Right. Yep. Yep. Because uh, you know, the speeds aren't that high. So. Yeah. And Maybe. Grandma in the back trying to keep up without falling over. <laughs> but this looks like an original motor, so this is an older one. That's a Power B, yeah. Oh, a Power B because it is... Original motor. Yeah. That's probably oh. West Bend. Is that a West Bend or a Chrysler or yeah. U.S. Motors? That's a 1963. All right, so... That's early. So West Bend originally made these motors. It's uh, 134 cc. 134 cc, two-stroke single. And then uh, West Bend went out of business and Chrysler started making that motor. And uh, my 83 bikes got the Chrysler. And then Chrysler quit that and U.S. Motors bought it. And then U.S. Motors has just discontinued it and another guy's picked it up. Oh, another guy's picked it up just recently. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So the parts are all available. Last time I rebuilt one, Dave, it cost me, I think, under 70 bucks for everything. Did you have to put a cylinder on it? No. no. Okay, so you're talking gasket, rings. Piston. Oh, piston. Yeah, rings, piston, bearings, uh, seals, and reeds. So, is this a, got a chrome bore in it? Yeah. Okay, so you just put a standard piston in it with standard rings. And honed it, yeah. But I have sent out the 
the jug to be uh, plated before on another bike, that was like 200 plus bucks to have. But if they're remaking the engines, can you get a new jug? Uh, yeah, this one has one. This is a rebuilt motor. Uh, the only thing I reused was the uh, the head and the, the plates, you know. And we call her the Rokon Mama. That's me. The I'm Rokon not. Mama. I have like 25 now. She's a, she's I've been you had 25? Oh. I'm down to 25. Oh, you're down to 25. I like to buy and sell. And well, that's what I do, but it's not all one brand. It's just kind of a cluster, what I do, but... You're specialized in one brand, yeah. so, so you can be a little bit more organized. This one is a very, very old one. It's they had a lot of frame failures. They had the the weak fish mouth, the uh, fragile fork. So this is a modern fork. Uh, you can tell because it has a uh, bushing or a, a bung here for the brakes. The old bikes they had brakes in the rim. So this is a, a more modern fork. It'll hold up a little bit better. Um, because I'm small, I put on 23 inch tires on uh, 12 inch drum rims to keep it light and short so I can reach the ground. Um, I reinforced the fish mouth, uh, greasable king. Pins. So the fish mouth, they're referring to this where yeah. the drive shaft comes yeah. up through. Uh, I just added structure. That's all. Okay. If you look on the bike behind you, this is a 1968. Hang on, I don't want to. See how it has the added structure? It has added okay, structure yeah. and I added a gusset underneath to help, um, you know, against frame cracks. This is a 1968. I modified the snot out of it. Yeah, well, I mean, I'm look, it's got a life in it, Yeah. which is a Honda clone. I like the four strokes. I like to be able to shift on the fly and you can't do that with a plunger transmission. You have to come to a full stop. And so when you're saying plunger transmission, you're referring to this Albion? No, 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 the modern bikes. Oh, the modern bikes. Yes. Okay. So I like... And again, it's opinion. My favorites are the, you know, 73 and older. All right, so hang on. Let me let me get this this Albion. What's what's what? I shift on the fly. It shifts so. It, it's suicide shift. You have to let go, downshift, and hope you don't fall before you put your hand back on the handle. Right, but there's no is there, is there's no clutch then? Oh, it's semi-automatic. There. It's a centrifugal clutch. You just let off the throttle. Okay. And all right. All right. Centrifugal clutch. Yeah. There's torque no converter. no clutch no, lever. That's not a torque converter. Oh, I'm sorry. My bad. The only thing I can compare it to is a low end riding mower transmission. But it doesn't you let you shift on the fly. So you, you have, have to stop. To. Put it in what oh, no, the, select the gear stop, that you yeah. want. Okay. So I I personally don't care for them at all. Okay. Just for that reason. That's why you prefer that one. Yes. I just wanted yeah. to clarify what you were saying. Yeah. So I'll go back. The back in the day there was no internet, there was no forums, and when these bikes were originally made, they had less than optimal clutches and they had a lot it was like a fluid drive which would, you know, blow the o-ring when so it got So now hot. when you're saying these bikes, you're referring to a stock one oh, or yeah, the stock 1962 through 65. They had a lot of clutch issues and Now when, would that have been with that transmission? Yes. And okay. then the factory that transmission but a different clutch. All right, the, I the got it. The problem wasn't the transmission. These things will last forever. It was the clutches. Okay. So they had a fluid drive. They had a Hoover clutch. They had uh, cork-faced friction shoes. They had a lot of different clutches trying to get a good bike. And then the factory moved to New England, leaving everybody without support. Well, that so, makes sense because I had an old one that I got, and I got it running, and the clutch was no good yeah it didn't move and i didn't keep it i didn't even look at it but what you're saying is a lot of the old ones had clutch issues a lot of the old ones had clutch issues and the mercury clutch that uh they came out with that's on um 1965 to 73 bikes that is a phenomenal clutch but it will fail if the belt is too tight it's just the, the little bearing in there can't hold up yeah, all right. I never even looked at it, but it was an older one. It was green. But what happened was these poor guys... I mean, if, if he's going to go in that sand, it's going to be a new experience for him anyway. He's a good rider, though. Well, I understand that. You know, he ain't taking his bike in that sand, I'll bet you. Are these Rokons? I have. I'm just not... I'm not... I don't have gear. I don't... I didn't 
so I don't want to do anything crazy. Let me get a drink. I'll, whatever you want to do. Wait, I just need a couple of. I could even walk in the dang woods. I don't care. You can't take that. No, we could use this electric bike. Yeah. All right. That's fine. I'm Jeff. Hi, Jeff. I'm Dave. Good. Yeah. Okay. The sugar sand, you know. So it's like a two wheel drive electric bike? Yeah, two wheel drive. I sell them. Who makes I'm it? The robot dealer. approached me. Uh, would I sell their two wheel drive electric bike? I said, sure. So I went to New Zealand to the factory. And, uh, Are these made in New Ze generation. Zealand? Are these made in New Zealand? Yeah, they're made in New Zealand. And you're a dealer for Rocon? Uh, yeah, yeah. Where? I've been a dealer since 2006 in Fort Lauderdale. In Fort Lauderdale, Florida. What's the name of your dealership? Rocon South. Yeah, I'm trying to get you in on it. That's all. Yeah. Okay. And also, um, I, I'm their uh, head global tech. I'm Sim. They've, uh, they've sent me to Brunei, to Jordan. Now, are you talking Robon or Yubco? No. Robon. Okay. I've never seen they, uh, Their range is 70 miles. 150 on pounds. 159 pounds. So you can lie down. You can go to a hotel and put them inside the hotel. You know, you don't have the right. Well, I got to follow them. Should I grab it real quick? So this, this. I guess I have to make the vroom vroom noises. This is awkward. You got nothing to grab with your knees. All right, and you're grabbing brakes. Uh oh, parts are falling off. No, I'm gonna follow you. You ready? Yeah. You don't look at it. Nice. Nah, you're supposed to look ahead anyway. Go very fast. It's wide open. I'm never gonna keep up with that Rokon. And I don't like the sand. I can't grab the bike with my knees. It died. It's on now. Oh, this is no good. Okay. All right. All right. I got the old man rig. Yeah. 